Himachal Pradesh has retained the inherent beauty of its traditional culture in spite of repeated invasions from the outside world. People who came and settled here from other regions adapted to and enriched the local cultural environment. The rise and fall of the mountains and valleys of this region are reflected in its dance and musical forms. The rich repertoire of dances comprises the makar, cham, haran, sen, lahola, fuki, ghukti, bishu, bura, ghumsu, ghoru, jangbaji, lambar, lalri, karthi and pekha. But most popular is the nati dance form. It is performed by a group of dancers with accompanying musicians. The total effect is the overwhelming effortless ease with which the grace of their dance is conveyed. Slow movements with soft knee dips with torso accentuation is the key motive of these dances. Folk dances of a state are much influenced in atmosphere and theme by the natural circumstances as also by the geographical conditions prevailing in the areas to which they belong. So closely are the folk dances of Himachal woven into the lives of the people that they invariably derive their main inspiration from the movements linked with the performances of their daily tasks. The dances usually begin with single file entries of men and women separately. The man with the fly whisk is called Mali or Dhura. He leads the team and regulates the tempo by waving his fly whisk.
The dress resembles those of the Gaddi or the Himachal nomads, but is different in detail and in the material used. Men wear a woolen robe with yards of ropes or narrow sashes tied at the level of the lower waist and a symbolic Himachali topi or a hat with flowers fixed on it. Women wear rich ornaments and cover their heads with colorful scarves. Musicians are known as turis and the instruments include dhol, nagara, karnal, hiran singa and the shehnai. Dance is based on a Nati or Laman songs of narrative nature. Stories of Mahabharat, Buddha, local gods or acts from day-to-day -day life are sung as a playback for the dancers. representing various stages of social development. The inhabitants of the valley have an organized community life and have preserved their folk dances in a pure form. Men and women who perhaps have never left their villages display superb grace, matchless teamwork and perfect synchronization in their dances.
Nato establishes a common culture with a common language, devoid of any sense of parochialism. Nati is the easiest mode of communication between different races that promote fellow feeling among this hill region. Yagya is performed by the dancers at the end of a Nati performance as a homage to the gods. This dance displays a greater variety of moods than would ordinarily be possible. Gods and goddesses are adored and entreated as though they were human beings and liberation is sought from demons and evil spirits whom the people cannot master on their own.